New York. The dig out is just getting started. I like breaking my back right now. It's uh, it's tough. Nearly a week after a massive winter storm blanketed western New York, Buffalo's mayor announced the driving ban had been lifted overnight. 100% of residential streets haven't gotten at least one pass from a snowplow. I'm asking people to still be cautious, and if you don't need to drive, please don't. Some residents went out to restock their supplies, but were limited in what they could find at the grocery store. A lot of people were struggling, and I'm just glad that uh, it's over and the cleanup process is done. But for some, things will never be the same. According to local officials, the storm has claimed more than three dozen lives in Erie County. Among them, Andell Taylor. Her family says the 22-year-old got stuck in the storm while on her way home from work Friday. She sent them this video of the snow piling up around her car. She called the police. They said they were on their way. Um, I think about four hours had passed, and I'm like, I, they still haven't came yet? And she's like, nope. Taylor was found dead in her car just a few hours later. The devastation, though, could have been worse if not for people like Craig Elston, a local barber who took folks in out of the storm. Uh, a few people said I deserve everything that's coming my way. And like I said, I didn't do it for that. I did it just to help people. Help at a time it was needed the most. Jared Hill, CBS News.